Good afternoon. Thank you for watching 10 News at 5. We are continuing to follow breaking news. Authorities have scheduled a press conference for 6 15 this evening. This after they arrested the man police say killed a Blount County Sheriff's deputy and wounded another this following a traffic stop last week. The Blount County Sheriff's Department says Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. is now in custody. This picture taken when he was captured earlier this afternoon in East Knoxville in an area near Linden Avenue. And right now we do have teams spread out across the area covering the very latest in these breaking developments. Our 10 News anchor John Becker is live now at the Blount County Justice Center where authorities are expected to address the public. John. As you and Robin mentioned, that press conference set for about 45 minutes from now. We'll bring it to you live when it does happen. We are here at what has been really the center of this manhunt investigation, as you mentioned, for five nights now. This Kenneth Wayne DeHart, his junior, has been on the run for that long, and we know authorities from across the area have been looking for him. Well, that culminated in his arrest in East Knoxville, about 20 miles away from where we're standing right now. This going down, according to my sources, fairly peacefully, this man was arrested. Of course, we'll learn more from authorities as they address the media today. But back in Blunt County, this has been a very intense and emotional time for this community and certainly this department. And I spoke to one young mother who brought her son and daughters here to see this tribute to Deputy McCowan and his cruiser behind me covered in flowers and tributes. Here's what she had to say about this arrest. Well, I couldn't tell you the emotions that came over me. <laughs> I'm glad he's, he's locked up. Back here live again, just one of the many reactions we're hearing from people and it can really be summed up as I mentioned at the top of the hour in one word and that is relief. So what is next for this suspect? We'll learn more in the next 45 minutes, but I can tell you this. The decision about whether to try him in a death penalty case will be up to the district attorney general and that person alone. He'll have input from a number of different people, including the department, likely uh, the family of Deputy McCowan and uh, others, but it will be his decision. Will we learn that today or will we learn that in the coming days? That is an unanswered question. We do know that by Tennessee law, this suspect does have to appear in court within about a week, but we could see that happen by the end of the week. Brittany and Robin. Do want to point out, John, that behind you is a memorial to Deputy McCowan. And as you are speaking, we can continue to see people going to pay their respects to him at that memorial behind you. John Becker live in Blount County Force. John, thank you. Well, again, as we've been talking about, Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. was taken into custody in East Knoxville. This happened just before we came on the air at 4 p.m. 10 News reporter Aaron Velasquez is there, and he's going to bring us up to date with the very latest. Um, we still see a large uh, police presence on Linden Avenue there. Aaron. That's right, Robin. The large police presence still surrounding this house on the corner of Linden and Harrison. I'll move out your way. As you can see, we have Knoxville Police Department. We've seen everybody from TBI special agents to Knox County Sheriff's Office be, be involved in this. Um, we're here on the corner of Linden and Harrison. That is the main area right now that is being congested with law enforcement. We mentioned earlier Linden and Sherry. That area has been opened up. The 2600 block of Linden Avenue has been opened up. But just recently, we were seeing law enforcement officials look to me what looks like CSI investigators, maybe crime scene uh, officials entering the home with boxes, gloves, looking to gather what I could only assume is evidence that could be used to to look at to 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 look at how this arrest might have went down. We're going to be continuing to monitor the situation out here in East Knoxville throughout the rest of the evening. And as you know, we do have a press conference scheduled with Blount County Sheriff's Office at 615 that will that we'll have live for you on air and on our webs that will give us more information about the arrest of Kenneth Wayne Dehart, the suspect accused of shooting and killing Deputy Greg McCowan nearly five days ago and Deputy Shelby Eggers. We'll keep you updated out here from East Knoxville. Reporting out here, I'm Aaron Velasquez.